We don't see any indication that the mountain hates his brother, or even that the thinks of him very often. He seems to hate him only in the sense that he hates everyone. Or, more properly, that he's an exceptionally angry, aggressive and violent man with very little impulse control and absolutely no respect for human life. He won't hesitate to mow down anyone who gets in his way, and that absolutely includes his own brother. But if Sandor isn't in his way, as far as we can tell, he wouldn't cross the street to spit on him if he were on fire. Welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. The Mountain is pretty much a one-dimensional character. While he does seem to have a decent command of tactics, he's otherwise pretty much a brute, who doesn't seem to think much about anything. He injures or kills anyone who angers him, including speaking or snoring when he wants silence, and rapes pretty much anyone when he feels the urge and has the opportunity. Point is, it's not hard to understand why Sandor has a deep and abiding hatred for his brother. Gregor, on the other hand, doesn't ever seem to give much thought about whether Sandor lives or dies. If Sandor stands in his way, Gregor won't hesitate to try to kill him, as at the hand's tourney, but otherwise never mentions him, seeks him out, or seems to think about him. Well, it's a classic case of Big Brother Syndrome, but dialed up to Westerosi extremes. When they were kids, the hound played with one of the mountain's toys. Now, in a normal world, this would result in a stern telling off. But the mountain isn't exactly the, let's talk about our feelings type. He's more the, I'm going to push your face into a burning brazier, type. And that's exactly what he did. Talk about an overreaction, right? This incident left Sandor with not just physical scars but a deep-seated fear of fire and a bucket load of brotherly resentment. As for the mountain, it seems like he just couldn't stand the idea of his little brother touching his stuff. It's like sibling rivalry with a side of sadism. Over the years, this hatred just simmered like a pot of stew in a Winterfell kitchen. The hound grew up to be this gruff, brutally honest warrior with a soft spot for chickens and a disdain for knights. The mountain. He became a giant zombie bodyguard. In the end, the mountain's hatred towards the hound seems to stem from a mixture of pride, jealousy, and good old-fashioned big brother bullying. But with a lot more armor and swords involved. It's like Cain and Abel, if they were raised in a world where dragons are pets and weddings are the most dangerous social events. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.